just wanted to outline that every one of these is nailed in two rows. So the shingle above it is nailed up here, and you can see that on the shingle that we pulled out. So we're going to have to, um, we had to pull the nails on the first row up here. Um, so we're going to have to get those um, back in, which means replacing these two shingles. But, um, Get this guy under there. And it is running into the fasteners up here. So we're going to have to find those and get those out in order to get the shingle all the way in. in place doesn't sit quite flat because of the material transfer below but for video purposes we get our four nails in here now this is the nail strike zone so it's got to be straight up and down which is going to be a little hard with the shingle above it those have to be flush it be by manipulating them it's caused a bunch of granule loss up here but also this shingle and this shingle have had the fasteners pulled out so those are going to have to be replaced they can't be reused all right which is going to happen to this shingle and this shingle above those and this one which is going to do a domino effect all the way up the roof. Every shingle has two shingles above it. So now we're replacing this one shingle. It means that we have to replace the two above that, the four above that, the eight above that, the 16 above that, so on and so forth, all the way up to the ridge. 